I feel as if we're on the leading edge of developing new technologies. Getting access to untreated wastewater isn't easy for researchers looking to advance the science of liquid waste treatment. At the Anasis Research Center, Metro Vancouver delivers unparalleled access to this unusual raw material. One of the main reasons why the center was built here is because it is adjacent to the Anasis Wastewater Treatment Plant. So we have wastewater piped over underground into our research hall. Doing this kind of research at the Anasis Research Center is, is made a lot easier because we need to use uh, real wastewater for our research. The goal of Associated Engineering's research is wastewater treatment techniques that allow treatment plants to take up less space and costs and have lower embedded greenhouse gas emissions. Microorganisms are the, uh, the backbone of biological wastewater treatments and in an aerobic granular setting they form just much more dense granules compared to the flocculent biomass in a traditional system. And so those granules take up much less space and they settle through the water column much quicker, which means you can engineer a much more compact system. It's a collaborative effort with the University of British Columbia, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Council of Canada, and Metro Vancouver. Another research collaboration with Simon Fraser University is tackling the challenge of high volume testing of wastewater for chemicals that can affect an organism's hormonal and endocrine system. These can range from things like detergents or industrial chemicals and hydrocarbons and things like that, as well as pharmaceuticals and personal care products. The effluent water that is returned to the environment after wastewater treatment is also the subject of study at the research center. Our project here at the Anasis Research Center is on a technology called the Animox, uh, which removes toxic ammonia from wastewater. Compared to conventional processes, Animox requires significantly less uh, energy and reduces the external chemicals needed. I feel as if we're on the leading edge of developing new technologies. We're taking a look at making those footprints smaller, using it as resources, and putting it back into uh, our surroundings.